Hello and welcome. I'm so excited that we are finishing this series where we have been watching Sarah Boone's full police interrogation four parts. We have divided the two hour long video in 30 minutes sections where we are able to pause and make comments and analyze her behavior, her mannerisms and see what is going on with Sarah. Is she a psychopath? Is she a narcissist? Is she an alcoholic or a mixture of some of these? Today, the final part, we're going to finish the interrogation and give you our final thoughts. So here we go. Without further ado, uh, we stopped where uh, on the last video, which you can check out right here, we stopped where Sarah was being interrogated and she was uh, asking the detectives her questions. She said, I have a few questions for y'all. Uh, what happens to the funeral? Who's going to notify the parents of George? And how do I get my ring back? I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees, whom he really cared for, and let them know. You can call whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. Um, how do I go about getting his uh, wedding ring, engagement ring? Is that the medical examiner's office? It'll come to us eventually. No, and then it'll be released to, oh, to the next Yeah, okay. And that is the question she really wanted to ask. So she, she tries to ask all these questions. Oh, how do I notify his employer? How do I, how do I notify his uh, probation officer that he is deceased? How do I notify his parents? I can't talk to his parents. His parents hate me. They always said something horrible was going to happen because of me. And so it did, Sarah. And then the real question she wants to know is about the wedding ring. She's going to say, I bought it for him. I want it back. But she doesn't realize that after two hours, this is one, one hour and 30 minutes in this interrogation room after being grilled, after being question after question after question, why did you do it? Why did you put him in a suitcase? Why did you go to sleep? Why did you forget about him? She does not realize the trouble she's in. She truly believes at this point, one hour and 30 minutes, that she's going to walk out of this room pick up her phone and go back to her apartment. This is the level of insanity, which I believe it indicates she does have a problem with alcohol addiction. I believe that her mind is so far gone due to repeated alcohol abuse that she drinks all the time that she doesn't realize she, she doesn't have the coherent mind to grasp the magnitude of what's happening to her right now. Okay. So let's see. Um, how this interaction is going to go with the ring. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger, it goes to them. They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. The detective is like, so wow, for all really? Of this, like, how do I find out what's what, how many, like, what's been found? What do you mean? Uh, pillow with stain, swab of stain from pillow, suitcase. That will all be sent off to the daily Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They do their testing. So, and then, like, whatever white can with blood and necktie with blood was from the suitcase. Okay. Why would you guys, oh, you'll see it in there, the baseball bat for Lucas. She's talking and about the case. evidence. And this is just the blood in the phone, suitcase. My phone and the laptop. Yeah, when anything can be released, we will release it, but we are very early in this investigation. You're not early because you're about to arrest her, so, so don't lie. What's next? They're going to come and swab your fingers. No, I'm talking about like in the long run. Like, what do I need to like, do I need to be doing something or like, I can't tell you. Like, I can't tell I mean, you. So, like, for, like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if you guys are just going to, like, 
because it makes it sound like to me like I'm being accused of something that was not intentional. You are I'm being accused, accused of, it. Mm -hmm. and a handful of other things I'm being accused of. Okay, you are. So I don't want to be at home with Lucas and you guys show up. You're not gonna be home. Okay. So. It, it pisses me off that the detectives are not like so just is there being clear with her. They keep saying, you know, yeah, we can't talk, we can't tell you. Like, I understand. I guess they're allowed to do that, but I think that they should have arrested her right away because they knew they were going to arrest her. So the fact that they just strung her along to talk and talk and talk, it's kind of, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like it, you know, what the detectives have done here going to be concrete whatever it is and then it's like okay this is what it is kind of thing or like because i've done the whole court thing i've done the whole <laughs> attorney thing i've done whatever so if i'm not admitting anything about being yes you have i killed george you did it, that's not the situation but it's trying to depend on me <sighs> that was not my intent but it's trying to depend on me so however or whatever so the to... whole purpose of this interrogation here the detective's purpose is they're trying to make this case a first degree murder right which is an intentional homicide she meant to do it she planned to do it so she, they're trying to tell her you went to sleep so you knew he was in a suitcase you went to sleep you did that you thought about it you did that right right and she keeps saying no it wasn't intentional it wasn't intentional she believes during this this moment right here that the, because she's saying it's not intentional, that means that she's not going to be culpable of anything, right? That means that it wasn't intentional. It was an accident. He died. I zipped him up. I thought it would be funny. I went to sleep. I was drunk. So, you know, and she doesn't even say she was drunk. She keeps saying she's not drunk. She, she likes to have her wits about her. She likes to control herself. So her mind is so far gone because she even says i've done the court thing i've done the attorney thing honey if you have done the attorney thing why don't you ask for an attorney at any point especially in the beginning before they start asking questions so it's painful to watch her going around in circles here trying to figure out what is the that they're gonna do and she knows deep down in her subconscious mind she knows because she keeps saying it feels like you guys are trying to pin something on me like intentional, but it wasn't intentional. So yes, they're trying to pin you for first degree murder, but because it wasn't intentional, you're gonna get second degree murder. So it's so sad to watch, you know, what can happen to the mind of somebody who has allowed addiction to, to consume them to their this point where they have actually taken somebody else's life they have complete disregard for that because you know the alcoholic uh becomes extremely self-centered and selfish is unable to put himself in other persons uh in other persons positions or shoes they, they it's kind of like you can't have the empathy because all you care about is yourself as she's demonstrated over and over in this interview she cares about the ring she cares about what's going to happen to herself she she says all the things that she does that is magnificent magnificent right uh, she always says, I excel at everything. You don't understand who I am. And now again is the victim. You're trying to pin this on me. All I did was zip up the suitcase and go to sleep. You're trying to pin it on me. So far gone. And it's very sad to watch. You do in order for that to be proven, then I need to do so, which is why I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking what the next step is other than me getting my nails swapped. She's like, I'm going to get my nails done, you to but... Tell you how to not be accused of a crime? Is that what you're asking? Like, I don't know what you- I'm trying to prepare myself for whatever may need to be done so I can I I stick up for myself. And the, and the detective is so condescending, right? I'm not defending Sarah. I know Sarah did it. I know she's probably going to get, you know, convicted for this crime, but the detectives, they don't have to be condescending. Actually, it's a bad thing because when you are interrogating somebody, you want to build rapport, you want to, you know be friendly with them you want to make them feel comfortable and at ease so that they feel like they can open up to you but the detective both of them they're like playing bad cop bad cop and it's just it doesn't flow uh even appropriate or professional because you don't need to be condescending to have an interrogation to have a successful confession i mean i think you're doing just fine you came you talked i just don't want you guys to again show up and look at in the house they're not you're never going well, we back did to tell you house. yesterday that we don't want to do anything around your son, hence why you came to us. So I don't know why you think that's going to change. That and or me not just show it back home. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 
matter what me just not show like that wait home. wait what did you say that's what oh he's so happy she said okay i don't want you guys showing up at my house and then the detective said well that's why you came here and so I was like, well, I don't want you guys to show up and I don't want to not show up either. Like, wait a second. What? I that I'm staying over the house with Brian. I'm so happy. And I'm not going back to the house, to my house, for however long I can stay over here because of whatever to blow over. Mm -hmm. And again, if you don't mind me asking, so for whatever it is you all are claiming from the videos. Whatever which, yeah, you're claiming. Is that what you're going to tell them? Like his parents? It's like, oh yeah, and by the way, she did whatever you're claiming from the videos okay so they're not claiming anything from the videos the videos show that george is asking for you to open up the suitcase because he can't breathe and you're laughing okay so the detectives are not claiming anything that's what it is it's a fact you know and you recorded it and you gave it to the detectives like without any resistance because alcohol has taken over alcohol is a serious alcoholism is a serious disease and when not addressed it can get to drastic levels which is something that we're watching happen to sarah boone in front of our eyes her alcoholism has uh, progressed to a point where she cannot differentiate the true from the false to her the alcoholic life is the only one she knows and she doesn't understand the type, the type of trouble she's in. She's only worried now about her reputation. In this moment, she's saying, are you guys going to claim that because you saw the video where I killed George, are you guys going to claim that to his parents? You're going to say that I did it? So understand where her mind is and how far gone her mind is. It's all about herself. She's concerned about her image, what they're going to think, how they're going to react. And she thinks she's going to leave and go back to her apartment. Did what? I mean, what would you tell him? I don't think it really matters what we're going to tell the parents. Oh, yeah, it is a steal for the fire. Well, we can't hide things. And I don't know. I'm not saying we're going to go. <clears throat> I'm not saying that we're going to go and tell them every single thing we have. Um, but again, this is the Orange County Sheriff's Office's public record. So eventually, like, this all will come out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's trust just, me, like, I'm not, Sarah. You're making it sound like we're going to tell them something. This video so has. I don't like that accusation. Okay, so 4,000 views. Right now. Well, that's what's going to happen. I cannot, I cannot choose, we but we can't even, but so technically <laughs> there's no concrete report yet, even. Right, so, so it's, um, you want me to like, I'm tell you exactly what I'm gonna tell them. I don't know what I'm gonna tell them. Let's just think about that. Just like, you don't know why you went upstairs. I don't know what I'm gonna tell them. All so, right, the can, I can, I do, can I call you the way that I did last time? Yeah, my phone is an open line. He's like, I'm done. This should be here. I'm watching it i get it look i get it so so now she's gonna change her demeanor right she's like i get it i get it so she goes from questioning trying to control the situation trying to understand what's happening trying to get something out of these detectives they give her nothing they're like we're not gonna tell you what we're gonna do we're not gonna tell you what we're gonna tell his parents we don't have to tell you that it's gonna be public records eventually and then she's like okay and then the guy leaves and she she, the the organism does what makes the organism successful right is what uh greg always says from the behavioral panel and she's like okay this tactic didn't work so let me try to this tactic so immediately she changes and she's like i get it i get it guys i get it guys and then let's see how she does that that looks really bad so that's what scares me like what do i need to plan on like what do i need to plan on I you're not your you friend sarah on my son's life it was not intentional i believe her i promise you i believe her on lucas's life it was not but it's still second degree or manslaughter I, I don't know what is what would be a true statement but not i mean if you're promising on your son's life that's fine that's how much it means you see but the, the detective also has zero compassion right because i can see that she's being honest about it, it wasn't intentional and i can see that she has a, a serious problem she has a serious disease and i'm not saying uh, i want to defend her but i just don't like when everything is against one person you know like uh they are being condescending like disregarding and i understand the detective that same day that she's interrogating sarah has gone to george's uh autopsy and it lasted i believe two hours so she's coming from that, you know, she's watching the victim being dead, you know, and then she's 
talking to Sarah. She's seen the video where Sarah's laughing. So the detective has zero compassion for her and it is understandable. So that's why, you know, it's important for us to look at all sides of it. But I do have a little compassion for Sarah. I really do. Look at her. Just looking at the detective. She's studying every single thing in the room, trying to make it make sense in her mind. But she still doesn't understand that she is in big, big trouble here. Sorry. That's how much it, look, that's how much it means. Okay. I hope you take that to heart. Please. <laughs> that's not how things work, Sarah. Yeah, it's documented that you said that. Yeah, I get it. Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? What's on it? What do you think? It's a novella. I mean, our digital forensic unit has uh, a lot of cases on her plate. I mean, well, and that's not how you say my laptop. It's Lucas's laptop. Okay. But he plays, you'll see all the games that he has on there. As soon as we can get that back to Lucas, we will. As soon as we can release your phone, we will. But it doesn't, we have no way of being able to tell you because we don't have control over their case other than how they, they arrange what they do. So I don't know. And at this point, I think, honestly, with everything else, else that's going on, it should probably be, be at the bottom of your list of words. <laughs> The least of your problems. Okay. Does Brian not have a laptop for him? He has his laptop that he has to do for work, but he doesn't want him using it or breaking or dropping. It's not a big deal. There's nothing on the laptop anyway. So you will keep me posted, like updated. Mm -hmm. That's my thing, is I'm trying to figure out what I need to do in the meantime. I don't know, I can't, like, I don't know what to tell you, though. Like, what am I, what? But you all have more information than I do, where it's, like, <coughs> yeah, you might want to, or yeah, you might want to. I'm sorry, what? Like, we have more information than what? Like, we told you everything that we have. You know everything that we know. And most of it we got from you. But, uh, uh -huh, that's true. We, we got, got it from your phone. Like, but, guys. Yeah, that's bad. Like, which I swore in my son's life was unintentional. So that's why I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for myself okay. going forward with this. Nonetheless, with his family. And are you all just showing up with Lucas and Al? I think we've already both told you that we would be mindful of any situations. Don't drink, guys. Or if you so drink, I guess you're going to come tomorrow. Don't drink a lot. Come back down here. Seek help. I'll talk with you next time. I have no idea what I'm going to call you next. Uh, doesn't the report come out tomorrow? No. I'm just saying a report is generated through us and the sheriff's office is a public entity. So if someone were to come across something, then... No, I'm talking about um, his autopsy. She's waiting and doing our follow-up, but... She's looking at him again. <coughs> yeah. But she won't be finished with him because she's, she's pending further stuff. So after this, what? I'm done? For now? He's like, yeah, you're done. You're done, all right. See, she doesn't realize she's under custody and they're How questioning the her. Yeah, the you, you won't get back the swabs and stuff. We'll, we'll say. I don't know about it. They know she's in custody. She doesn't know she's in custody. Sorry, I'm just back. I keep calling my phone. I keep having to have other people call them to see what they need. I hope you all can really both truly understand that that was not my intention. It doesn't matter. I miss it a lot. I mean, no I, but my question has remained the same. What do you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position like that? <laughs> yes, but you have to understand too. I know. Just what would you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position? I have no idea because I've never done it before. Why have you ever done it before? Why would I? Exactly. Why, Why did I do you? it before? Why did you do it now? I don't know. I, I, I clearly have said why. I, why? No, you don't know why. You, you just know that it's not intentional, but you don't know why. Why? But that's okay. Really? I'm not trying to force you to say something that you don't know. <clears throat> it's fading and penning.
Awkward. Not assuming anything. We're going by the facts. It happened. That's true. Good happen. Like you said, you don't know me. I don't know why the detect oh, they're waiting for the DNA to be collected so that they can arrest her, but you know, I don't in itself for me to have to live with it's a torture. Getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. Okay, so understanding she has nothing else, understanding she has no response, no reaction from the detectives that they keep acting on the same, uh, they keep speaking to her in the same tone, like, you know, uh, we understand it wasn't intentional, but you did it. It's a fact. You did it. She keeps trying to change things, right? So her behavior went from inquisit, inquis, inquisit. I can't say that for trying to question a lot and control what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Tell me what's going to happen. Blah, blah. Then she goes like, I get it guys. I get it guys. It's, it looks really bad. And now she's going to say it's like the bargaining stage. Uh, living with this is going to be punishment enough. So like you guys don't have to pursue anything. Just tell the district attorney that you didn't see anything and let me out because imagine for me to live with this, that's going to be punishment enough guys. So I, I gotta go. I think that's why I haven't slept. I can't sleep. Been... So, you know, I'm suffering here. So that right there says something. Not my attention. <laughs> Awkward, but these detectives really have zero compassion or empathy for her, which I understand. I get it. Oh, yeah, a tragic situation. Tragic situation. I didn't bring it up wrong. It's unfortunate that stupid things like this happen. Mm -hmm. Stupid things. Absolutely. It's more than that, but okay. She's like, no, no, I have to live it on now. Mm -hmm. Think about it, Sarah. What do you think is going to happen, huh? Yeah, his daughter's too. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? <laughs> how I feel. He doesn't care how. Yes, I. That was there yesterday. And then she took your photo. Um, just gonna fast forward because it's all gonna be noise. She's gonna take her DNA. That's all the detectives have been waiting for. I'm curious to hear this guy testify to like the, the other detective. <coughs> okay, Sarah. So you're not free to go. You're not free to go. And he went like this. Okay. So they they had a little plan going on on how they're gonna do this. So she's gonna ask her if she understands the question, if she, everything she said was truthful. Uh, but you're not free to go. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that the detective should have told her that should have told her that from the beginning. You're not free to go. You're under arrest so that she would have an opportunity to say, I want to call somebody. They didn't. They're allowed to do that, apparently. So we'll see. But 
Let's see how the arrest is going to go. Promise everything you told us is the truth? Or no? <clears throat> everything we talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? I, I, he asked to swear. Remember how I swore you yesterday on the on the audio recording? I just forgot to raise his hand to remind me to tell you. Okay. Do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? For which true everything? and accurate to the best of your knowledge? But that it wasn't intentional? Everything, everything you said today, everything that's come out of your mouth has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Yes. yes. Why? That's how you talk to somebody to, <laughs> to assure that everything that we talked about is true and accurate to the best, best of that person's knowledge. knowledge. It's not your question. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Stand up. <coughs> I need you to turn around, face the wall. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? No. Okay. Aw. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Not intentionally. We understand. He's still there. So why is this happening? Because you killed George, not intentionally. We understand that, but she doesn't understand that not intentionally is still a crime. We don't Someone needs to call Ryan, please. Okay. okay. Or can I not make a but call? that is her no, first wait. question, right? Somebody needs to call him. Can I make a phone call? And this is something that the detectives kept all the way to the end. You know, they kept her from knowing she was under arrest. So. It's sad to see, but you know, any any anybody really should have known at this point that when you're placed in a little interrogation room, I mean, since the since the day before, Sarah should have known this was coming. Uh, she should have gotten an attorney. Unfortunately for herself, she seems to be taken uh, by a little bit of the narcissism because she does believe that she can get away with it by just answering questions. Uh, she seemed to be feeling like she was cooperating with the detectives when she didn't realize she couldn't pick up the, she couldn't read the room. She couldn't pick up the, 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 the facts that they were going to try to pin her for first degree murder. That's the only purpose of their, their interrogation there. She couldn't understand that they were not her friends. They were against her. They were there to catch her it's the lack of awareness. And I do believe that her alcoholism and her narcissism are playing a huge um, role here on how she behaved. Make a phone call. We'll get you down to the jail. So, so, I the so this was a trick. No, it's not no, a trick. Not a trick. trick. <laughs> I'm here to ask you to explain it. Hey, it was a trick. And you're right, you're right. Indeed. Your response to everything was basically, I didn't do it. Intentionally. It doesn't matter. It's still there. She didn't understand. <laughs> Guys, so I didn't show up. Why is it happening? Because before y'all said I could leave, that mm -hmm. I was done after this. After that, we were done. Yeah. See, we were done. Absolutely. so now, so that's what it is. You guys said done. I could leave, right? Not intentional. And now she's okay. doing the puppy dog yeah. eyes to to the guy. Not intentional. No. You will. Someone needs to call Brian. Okay. Lucas is waiting for mom to come home. Aww. This was not my intention. I thought I was waiting for you all to come and figure out what's what and how many. That's what we're trying to do. And I was going to be able to go home and see Lucas. <laughs> now he's just not going to have me come home. Right. So there's nothing that I can do. Right. No. There's nothing that I can do in order to go home and see Lucas and prepare. Right. 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 You'll be afforded a time in court. You'll be afforded an attorney. You'll be afforded a chance to talk to or them. eight or nine attorneys. What's the time frame for that, though? I have no way of being able to tell you. You should make first appearance probably like tomorrow morning, if not tonight, depending on how things are busy, how quickly you get down there. I don't, I have I don't work in that. This is going to happen, and I need water like really bad, please. Okay. 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 They're not allowed in the jail. What is she? <laughs> She's like, I just got those. Are they like her shoes or something? What? And what am I going to do with my car? Can you find where it is? When you get down there, you'll have three phones. You'll be able to call. What? Is it possible? Yeah, once you get down there and get within, you'll be able to uh, use a phone in the, in the way. How long will that take if I need to talk to Brian? You know, it depends how busy, how quickly they get you through. I'm trying to say within the hour. There's a free phone call yeah. in, the, in the lobby. It's free. She has no clue. So can I ask you, or whoever it is, um, those holding cells, the holding cells, mm -hmm. am I going to be talking about those? I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. 
I'm supposed to know that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you, you're familiar with the big bay. As long as you go in and you act civil to them, they'll set you in the big bay. And you'll be left there for a while. No, that's not a mm -hmm. We don't work at the jail. As long as, as, long as you finish, you don't if have you to. If you don't want to act like this, you'll go in and they'll put you in the big bay. If you go in there screaming and kicking and yelling and cursing, I don't know. I'm just letting you know that's what happens. That's how they, they weed people out. If you go in acting like this. So I ask for the big bang? They'll put you there as long as you're acting like this. I, yeah, because last time I had a major panic attack in the building. Hey, oh, no. Yep. Thanks, 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 Than